What is going on everyone? How are you guys doing today? What I have for you today in this video is I want to discuss with you guys about an app that has arrived to the iOS platform but apparently has been on the Android market for a while now. I don't know exactly when this started happening but I just found out about it today. The article that I got this from, which the link to that will be in the description below, definitely give that a read. But it's basically where you know, there's this app called Google uh, opinion surveys and basically you do a survey and you get paid for it which is pretty interesting for every survey that you uh, answer and do you will get paid a dollar what can you use this money for well for instance if you've been using this app on android and if you guys are familiar with this and you have used this before i've personally never used it myself but I'm actually pretty interested in it. This money that you earn through this app right here is going to give you Google Play credit. So you can use that credit to uh, make purchases in the Google Play Store. Now here's the thing though. This app is being released for iOS and the Google Play Store is not for iOS. It's specifically for Android. Well, in this case, you would have to link your PayPal account and then the money will be going straight into your PayPal account if you're using the iOS version. Now, what do I think about this application so far? And, well, here's the thing. I've never tried it out you know, the day I'm making this video. I may be interested in it. I may try it out at some point. But it's pretty cool, to be honest. And briefly took a look at the reviews that I saw in the Google Play Store on my Note 8. And apparently, it seems legit. I've only seen one bad review of it where it's just because it was in a different language and they couldn't read it. So that might have been just a side effect for that particular person. I'm not 100% sure if that's the case. However, one thing I do wonder about is if this is 100% legit and that this is not some sort of scam. Uh, because here's the thing, when I see surveys uh, like this, you know, most of the time when I see surveys, I don't believe in it. And this is just a way to get your personal information. And instead of earning something, you wind up giving out the personal information for someone to hack into you. And of course, this is happening throughout the industry today, throughout the world. Whether you have a high class business that you're operating, and no matter what kind of IT department that you have, what kind of network security that you have, there's still a way for someone to get breached. And it could be as simple as just giving out your information. Well, the Google Opinion Surveys app doesn't seem to be the case. However, I'm not 100% sure how safe this is, but it seems pretty safe and that it's reliable. I mean, this is made from Google you know, Incorporated themselves. And a lot of the reviews that I read have been very positive, except for that one review about the language switch. People were saying this is very useful. It's free money. If you want to earn free money, then this is the app for you. I've reviewed an app for Android a long time ago kind of called the Mobile Performance Meter and it's basically where you earn points just from using your phone every day and I still have that on my Note 8 and with those points I can redeem them into an Amazon gift card or maybe a Best Buy card, a Starbucks card. So that's another way of earning credit and also they're going to give you a survey once a month which the questions are always the same for that app but the questions are phone related. Meaning like, are you impressed with your smartphone? Do you like it? Hate it? Do you like your carrier? Would you switch to another one? And of course, the Google Opinion Surveys app, it looks as if it's a little bit of everything. So if you have it set to know where your location is exactly, it'll ask you questions that's related to your location. And also, depending on the kind of YouTube videos that you watch through the YouTube app, is also going to ask you questions related to the videos that you've watched. So pretty cool actually. I've heard uh, or read on the reviews that if you're as honest as you can be you know, within this app, you're gonna get more surveys to uh, answer and then that way you'll be earning more money and it's a dollar per survey once you complete it. Which yeah, earning money is kind of slow and yeah, it is taking uh, some of your time but some people say the time is like very minimal. It may take like just a second or two because I. I've had people complain to me where like when they see apps like this, like for example, a free texting app that I used to use one time and I mentioned I can send free text messages, no problem. I don't have to apply for a plan as long as I'm on a Wi-Fi connection. And if I want to earn free credit, all I have to do is watch these 30 second advertisements. And then after watching them, I got the free minutes. And some people are like, well, that's not free texting then. And I'm like, how is it not free texting? Uh, I mean, yeah, you're taking some time uh, out of your life to do this, to get, earn this credit. But 
at least you're not paying any money. I don't know how certain people look at what's free and what's not. Uh, for me at the time, I'd say that was free. I mean, yeah, obviously I have to put in some time and if I wanted to purchase minutes, I had the ability to do that. I just chose not to because the app I don't use that very often and I actually don't use right now. Therefore, my phone number has expired for that particular app. But other than that, the Google Opinion Surveys app is pretty interesting to me and I may look into trying it out. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do it. I mean, I got to pull it up on my screen right now. What do you guys think about this application? If you guys have used it before, what do you think of it? Do you think it's legit? Do you think it's reliable? Is it something safe that we all can rely on? And as far as this coming over to the iOS platform, is this a big expansion decision for Google? Leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment. Also check out the description below for my social media links, Twitter, Instagram. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.